And when it comes to the last album, Choose Your Weapon, um, I heard Ney saying um, that you guys wanted to pay a tribute to the format of a mixtape. Mm. What does she mean by that? Um, well, we kind of did it on Talk to Homohawk as well. I guess just having that, you know, I guess most albums tend to have a song and then a song finishes and then there's a bit of, there's a break and then another song starts. Um, but we really like, you know, having that flow, those sort of segues between, between tracks and trying to just program it in a way that it feels really natural to go through the album. I mean, I guess every band does that. It has to, has to program the record to be the right order of songs, but yeah, sometimes it's nice to really directly transition from one song into the other and just so you can kind of experience the, the album as one piece, you know? And make, you know, make people want to keep listening because it's not like anything ever really finishes. It's just, you just travel through into the next part of the journey. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, 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 the last album is 18 tracks long. Mm. If it was possible to add more tracks, would you guys have done that? Mm, no, it's, <laughs> no, <laughs> I think it's plenty. There's plenty. And, you know, we ended up not having, you know, some, I don't know, sometimes other, I hear about other bands or artists and, you know, they'll be like, we made 300 tracks for this record and we chose the best 12 and it's just like, fuck. Why'd you make 300 tracks then? Like, I mean, I guess it depends on the genre. Certain certain kinds of music, it's easy to make like 300 like, you know, beats or whatever, and then decide which ones to elaborate on. But um, so what was usually yeah, usually hiatus songs. It's a, it's quite some of them end up being quite the undertaking to produce them at that level. So we didn't we sort of made those tracks and pretty much e almost everything that we recorded at that time was like cool. Let's just all put it on there. Why not? Like, just get it out and then move on. Yeah, but, yeah. But that, that was what I wanted to ask. Like, the album process with you guys was all the tracks you recorded is also the tracks you used for the album. Yeah, there's there's a few other little scraps of ideas that is, that we didn't use, but it was most of what we recorded ended up on there. Because I guess you know all those songs we put a lot of time into all of them, and we just kept working on them to try to get them to the point where they're good enough to be on there and I guess once you've done it and you're doing that particular part of time you just sort of want to sort of want to get it out there and so you can just move on to the next thing you know yeah. you don't want to think oh man we recorded that song we never put it out so when are we are we going to re-record it and put it out later because there's all these other songs that need to get recorded too so yeah it's a it's I know it's, it's a long record but you know value <laughs> Get your money's worth. Would you say that there are strict role, div role divisions when it comes to uh, songwriting and music and beats and um, stuff like that? I guess in some areas, like no writes all the lyrics, because it would be it would be weird if any of us try started throwing in lyrical ideas, because you know she's already got an amazing lyric thing going on, um, and she has to sing it. So yeah, um, we don't really mess with the lyrics um, and then yeah sometimes you write like a song with like it's kind of like it's like the whole shape of the song guitar and, and voice and then we'll work with that and then other times we just come up together with stuff in a room or someone like records the cool sound and then we build a track around that it just it kind of changes all the time everyone has different skill sets you know me and Perrin have tended to do most of the engineering mixing stuff but Simon's getting more into that now, but everyone just has different things that they're, they're good at. So. But I, I, I read somewhere that the song Swamp Thing was something that you all did together, or is that not true? Um, I don't remember how that happened. Well, that's, that was kind of something that was more... I can't remember how we started that. I think it started from some sort of jam. Huh. Um, but yeah, I think that was kind of more started by me and... Heron and then I guess Simon came into it and then we recorded it as an instrumental and we just left some space for there to be vocals and then they wrote once we had actually uh, recorded it. Um, yeah, so. Where do you guys get your inspiration from? I don't know. Uh, it's 
It's a weird question, and people always ask it. No, no, no. It's like, what do you? It's like, I don't know. You, you dreams, or like, you meet a cool person, you have a cool conversation, or you see a cool movie, or you hear some other cool music, or it's a really sunny day that day, or it's a really shitty day that day. I don't mean, you know, it's. I don't know how you can not be sort of um, inspired or something. These days, there's so much information that just goes into your brain every day. So you've, there's got to be something that you can come up with out of that. You know, I think. I don't know. Like inspiration is just. It's just like. There's always something to write about or some reason to make stuff. Um, I think the hardest thing is just getting in a flow with it. That's the challenge. And that's the best part is when you get in a flow and you're just making a lot of stuff and it's sort of churning, you know, and you get on that good momentum with it. That's sort of the challenge. Have you guys already started working on some new material? Uh, we have we have new songs. And there's old songs that we haven't recorded yet, so we definitely have things to record. Yeah, and some things that we're doing live now that are kind of new. Can we expect a totally different sound, or will it be? Um, yeah, I think there's. I think the next lot of stuff we record, we're gonna. It'll probably just be expanding further into, I guess, a lot of the areas we've touched on, and hopefully go into some new areas. I guess that's kind of the goal: is just to keep making the scope of what what we do bigger. You know, mm -hmm. kind of go do some sort of songs that are not like ones we've done before and some that are kind of a, a deeper version of a place we've already been. Could you maybe give an example of like something you want to add that you didn't add yet in the last two albums? Um, I don't know, I like to just, just like having different processes of recording. Like I'd like to just, I'd like to do some stuff with the big, bigger ensembles, like not that we don't have a lot of stuff already going on on the tracks but you know in, as opposed to multi-tracking 400 keyboards you know you just get like a lot of musicians in a room and make it like a very big band and then you just do like a take you know that kind of thing a bit more like a bit more retro recording you know like more more people in the room at one time doing like one take together kind of thing that's the kind of stuff that excites me is it hard to have four people come to one one sound and one idea? Yeah, it can be. Sometimes it's easy and you just all agree straight away and other times you get hung up on like weird little details that some one person feels really strongly about and everyone else is like, oh, I didn't even really think about it. Why are we changing it? I don't know, it's complicated. Everyone has a really passionate relationship with it and, um, you know, slightly different tastes. So. Yeah, it's challenging. Yeah, it definitely gets challenging. There's definitely times that you just get a bit frustrated because, you know, you can't just sort of make a decision and just move on if it was, as if it was just you making the decision. You have to kind of always be like, guys, this is cool. We're we going in the cool direction, you know, so. And then one last question. What was the song that set the tone for the whole album, the last album? Um. Hmm. I don't know. I can't. To me, it's just all a blur of doing stuff, and it's only it was only at the very end that you could really listen to any of it and just perceive it as like this song, you know. You know, because it's just that, at that point after you've sort of let go of it, after you've got it mastered, and then it's been out for a while, and then you can listen to it, and then you can actually like listen to the song again as opposed to thinking about all the tiny components that make up that song so I mean to me I don't know like and that's the thing about making albums is nothing nothing's necessarily finished not one track is like completely finished until the whole record is finished because you can always just change stuff so I feel like making that record was really like one giant epic complicated song but I think yeah I think that's a nice way to end this interview okay. <laughs> thank you so much for your time no worries